I still wanted the real thing. I just didn't want to pay the real price. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, I have another haul video, and yeah. It's from my favorite place, and I know y'all are probably like, didn't we just see one of these? Yes, you did. I made a few trips. So it was enough stuff that I had to split this up. I know y'all probably think I'm ridiculous, but listen, I can't help myself. I can't help myself if it's a sale and it's something I've thought about, wanted to try, different shade I need to pick up, whatever the excuse is, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got in this bag, but before I do, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family, so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. We do hauls, we do hair, we do makeup tutorials, reviews, we do nails, Pretty much anything related to beauty, that's where I am. So, if you wanna see what I got in this bag, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so I'm just gonna reach in, pull out, no particular order. The first thing that I picked up, this is a La Mer set. This is the Kissed by La Mer set. This is a moisturizing lip cream and a lip volumizer. La Mer is really expensive. I don't normally buy it. It's one of the first brands that I check for when I go to the company cosmetics, cosmetics company store. I check for La Mer. I check for Tom Ford, always first. So this was something new and I decided I wanted to try it. The next thing I picked up, this was a surprise because I, there's a sales rep that I normally talk to. He's really, really nice. And anytime he has something new because I'm in there so often, he's like, hey, we got something we haven't unpacked yet. Do you think you'll be interested in it? Uh, yeah, well, I wanna see. So they had Lalabo candles and fragrances, oils, everything. Now I love Santal 33. I know it's a unisex scent. It's very distinct, very different. And I bought, uh, what's the name of it? Maison Louis Balancourt, something like that. The number four, which is a dupe for the Lilabo Santal 33. But I still wanted the real thing. I just didn't want to pay the real price. So he actually had, this is the perfume oil. This is super concentrated and I picked this because he had this and then I think he had a set that came with like four different ones, but y'all, I could not, even with the discount, I couldn't pull the trigger. So I was like, let me do this and I'm going to, oh, I love this. I'm going to just mix it with my dupe and hopefully it'll make it last longer. This is super concentrated. This is, it says it's fresh 12 months after the first use. Not opening this right now. How many big is this? 30 mil. So it's like, let me see if I can find out. Let me tell you how much this costs so y'all can understand. That was $155. That's the regular price. I paid $77.50. So I got it for half off. The fragrance, if you just buy the fragrance itself, it's $200. So that goes to tell you right there how price, pricey it is. So I definitely thought this would be worth it. It will last a long time and I can layer it with my dupe. I'm kicking myself for this because I now think I have three bottles and they're all too dark. It's fine, I'll mix it. But this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is in the shade 6W1. I've been trying to get back into this foundation because I used to wear five, I thought I wore five W1 and I looked so yellow and just, it was not attractive. And then I tried to switch to like neutral and then I tried to switch to cool. And then I figured if I just go a little deeper and make it finesse like I normally do, maybe it'll be okay. But then I forgot I bought it and I bought it again. So yeah, this is my second or third bottle of this. This I'm happy I picked up because I'm gonna tell you right now, anytime I can find it, I'm gonna buy it at the cosmetics company store because it's half off. This is the Tom Ford White Suede. I do have another bottle and I was wearing it sparingly because I was like, you cannot run out of this, it is too expensive. And now I have a backup. I also 
found the like deodorant spray, body spray, whatever. So I have different variations of it I can wear now. And this is literally like my go-to special occasion scent. I also picked up the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Fluid Foundation Powder, Fluid Powder Foundation. I, start, I, I started stuttering because I'm pretty sure I just picked this up in a different shade, like recently, and I forgot. This is a problem. <laughs> this is a big problem. I don't know how I'm gonna fix it. I don't know how I'm gonna solve it. I don't know how I'm gonna keep up, but I think I have three of these now. I know I have one that's a different shade, but I think I have two of this shade. I'm not sure. I picked up another Tom Ford eyeshadow quad. Y'all know these are expensive, $88 a pop. This is in the shade 01 Mercurial. Let's show you what this looks like. I love this silver packaging. I am a silver girl. And this is literally, this kind of reminds me of Honeymoon a little bit with the shades, but I thought this one would be really perfect to wear. Like this is one you could wear by itself. Some of the other ones you have to get a crease color or there's too many shimmers. I thought this one would be perfect for every day. This next product, I don't know why it's in this bag. I don't even know if I've talked about this or not, but apparently, oh, I bought something for Fashion Nova. I bought some clothes and I bought a makeup item and I don't know why I just stuck it in this bag, but this is their waterproof liquid eyeliner in Dark Star. Let me see, I'm hoping this is a brush tip. Did I just break it? Something just fell off, I don't think I broke it. I hope not. Oh no, okay, it is a brush tip. And this is weird. Why do I keep getting products that are weird? I don't know how this is gonna come out. How do you do this? Okay, throw that little piece that fell off on the trash, click it back on, shake before use, carefully twist bottom. See, reading is fundamental. This is supposed to be black. Ah, okay, there we go. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, I wasn't careful and that just went everywhere. I already don't like this. Oh, I lied. This is purple. Why did I think it was black? Okay, well, I just made a mess. Hopefully it's not always messy like that, but there's a lot of product coming out of this. There was a lot built up on the tip, but that's a pretty purple. I don't like that you have to twist that though. I don't know what that's gonna mean. I don't know, I'll keep y'all posted on this. I never bought anything from Fashion Nova as far as their makeup stuff, and I was tempted to buy more, and I ended up just going with this, and I might be glad I did, because this just made a mess in my bag. It has sparkles in it a little bit though. I don't know, we'll see how it looks when it dries. Next thing I picked up is this Smashbox Camera Ready Cream Cheek Brush. I've been into my cream blushes. I have my Melt Cosmetics. I have, oh Lord, I can't even keep up. Um, I haven't gotten the LYS ones yet. I do still want those. I have quite a few of them and I've been using just a regular brush that is way too fluffy and doesn't pick up the product so when i saw this one i was like this is going to be perfect to use with those blushes so i picked up the elf putty blush too so hopefully this will be better because that brush does not do it i picked up a Too faced chocolate brownie cocoa powder brow pencil this is in the shade deep brown i hadn't tried this before and i love my benefit which one is it it's up here somewhere I just used it, the thicker one, not the precisely my brow, the, I don't know the name, I ain't gonna lie. But I love that one because it's a thicker tip. My brows are pretty thick, so I don't need that little small brush anymore. And this is the same type of brush, if you guys can see that there. So that is why I picked that up. This formula feels really dry, like I'm having to press really hard on my hand to make this come out but i don't know hopefully it'll warm up but the shade is really good so spoolie on one side and then the product on the other next i picked up Too faced glitter glue i don't know if i have this or not i know i have the nyx glitter glue and i've always wanted to compare them but i refuse to pay full price for this so found it in the store decided to pick it up 
I also picked up their Perfection in One Stroke Exclusive Dual Fiber Brush. This is their Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is in Deepest Black. I'm not gonna open this. It has a brush tip, so it should be good. Hopefully it's as black as they say it is. I also decided to pick up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Matte Powder Foundation. I picked this one up in Rich Cocoa, which is C 6C1. So if the C is cool, I honestly don't remember what this shade looks like. Oh, I think that should be good. So yeah. I have a lot of powder foundations, but they're all really light. And I kind of stayed away from them for a while because when I was on Accutane, my face got really dry. So I didn't use hardly any powder for anything. Now we're kind of back to like normal, maybe a little oily in some spots. So we're gonna go back to setting stuff with a powder or for all of my foundations that are a little more radiant and they don't dry down my dewy ones, I definitely need to set those. Next thing in the bag is this Too Faced Rose Tea Peach Perfect Instant Coverage Concealer. I don't even remember when these came out. I don't remember people talking about them and I'm pretty sure I bought this again another time. I like concealer like this to travel with. This looks really light, but yeah, that's about how I like it. So I'm going to try to use this. I don't normally use really matte concealers under my eye, but I'll prep my eyes enough and we should be good. I'm gonna try this, but I also like using these for carving out my brows. I picked up another shade. I also picked up the shade Cappuccino. Ooh. I think the reason why that's what, I got so much Too Faced stuff because they had a deal, yep, where if you bought six products from the same brand, no matter what the cost was, you got them for $60. So you had to buy six. And these were the ones that I found that I thought I would get some use out of. So this is the other shade, Cappuccino. This actually will probably be really good if I can shear it out just for like, I feel like that's, it's almost close to my skin tone which there are some days where I really just wanna put a little concealer under my eyes to help cancel the darkness. And I was looking for something that I could use that would be a little tiny bit more coverage than my Maybelline Age Rewind, but still not full coverage like my um, Tarte Shape Tape or my Benefit or my Kylie or my Pat McGrath. So I think I can sh kind of shear this out but I'll keep you posted. We are almost done. We've got four products left. The next thing I got is a little small sample of the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I've heard a lot of good things about this. I don't know that I would wear this under my makeup. It says all-in-one primer and moisturizer. I might when I'm wearing something super matte. That would be the only time I did because like I said, my skin type has changed a little bit, but I'm wondering how this compares in texture to like the Smashbox primerizer and some of my other primer moisturizers combos that I have. So comment below and let me know if you've used this before. I have not, I've just been curious about it. I think this is the last Too Faced product. I picked up the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder in Medium. I feel like when I picked this up, I was thinking that it was a little bit too dark because it's like yellowish. I don't want to open this. Actually, I think I have this already, but I know I like this powder. I don't know. Mm, I'm not opening it unless it's easy. If this has, okay, never mind. I can open it. There's the sifter and it has the cover. So I'm just going to put, yeah, she's yellow. That is what the powder looks like. Which normally I wear more neutral, translucent. Ooh, but that is pretty. It blends out well and it's not too light. Okay, I was worried. Now I'm excited I picked it up. Down to the wire. This is the Estee Lauder Nutritious Super Pomegranate Radiant Energy Moisture Cream. This was a free gift. I love that they give these big, full-size, expansive 
skincare products because I'm not even gonna lie I don't buy this stuff I will use most of the stuff I have has been samples like gifts with purchases or I will use stuff that's not as expensive so this stuff I kind of save more for like my spa nights or if I feel like my skin is really acting up then I'll open one of these last two products oh I'm gonna save that for last I picked up a Mac eyeshadow palette I really do not go in a Mac store. I don't look at their website. Like I don't hear people talking about it. And I just feel like there's so many different brands now that have amazing stuff. And I've heard that Mac products can sometimes be a little hit or miss, especially with their holiday stuff. So I think the last, the very last like full price Mac thing that I bought was the Nutcracker blush and highlighter because it had Whisper of Guilt in it. And that was years ago for holiday. I love that compact. And that's the last thing I bought full price from Mac. Other stuff I've gotten from cosmetics company store, but I just, I don't go in the store. I don't check for them, but I thought the packaging on this was really cute. And then this, these are my colors. Like these are perfect. Like you want to do every day. You can use this just to deepen your outer V. Put that in your crease. You can put this shade on your lid. Let's swatch and see. Oh, these are very soft. And I think, honestly, yeah. See, that's the shade that got me because it looks red. Let me swatch it and see if the color is going to come off. It's like a kind of duochrome, and y'all know how I feel about duochromes. And even these shimmery shades, like they're glittery, but they're not toppers. So, well, I lie. As soon as I said that, I get a topper. I just swatched let me do this dark brown just so you guys can see it because that is dark these are crappy swatches but there you have it but this shade right which one is it yeah this top, this top one is a duochrome so I hope you can see it kind of shifts to like a gold and then it goes to red y'all know how I am about my duochromes and if I can get it in a palette I'm probably more likely to use it than I am to buy the individual singles. I'm still gonna buy them and I'm still gonna swatch them and lose my mind, but I just, I don't reach for them because they're in a separate palette. So I need to keep that on my vanity and start actually using them. The last thing, every single time I can get one that I like, I'm gonna do it. Tom Ford lipsticks. Look, you can't convince me to spend $56 on one lipstick. There's no way. Now $20 or whatever it comes out to, yeah, I will do it. That is why I bought it. This is, you're an idiot, Barbara. <laughs> oh, it's not a lipstick. <sighs> Ooh, you tired. Tom Ford Emotion Proof Concealer. I almost bought this, was it Nordstrom's was having a sale? But y'all looking at these shades online, like I could not tell. And I already picked my concealers too light half the time. It would have been even worse. I picked up the shade number 120 Madagascar. I think this is going to be a perfect shade. I am so excited that they had these in the store because I was not going to be able to tell from online. I'm a little worried because I feel like I had a one of those lip vinyls or something from them and it had a doe foot applicator and then it broke. Oh yeah, this is a perfect shade. And honestly, this might be a really good everyday concealer. So this is gonna go on my vanity because I have to see if it really is emotion proof and no creasing and all this good stuff that it claims to be. All right guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I get super excited and probably talk a little fast. I know you hear my accent. I get that all the time. When I do hauls because I'm excited, I just, I love new makeup. I love trying new stuff. I know I have more makeup than any one person can ever use in their life. That is besides the point. It makes me happy and this is my thing. So I'm sharing with y'all. You can live vicariously through me. You can figure out if you need to pick it up or not, or you can just watch for entertainment. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for sticking with me to the end and I will see you in the next one. Bye.